So for my research, we developed a phytochemical database for Australian foods. Um, there are databases available in Europe and there are databases available in the United States, but they're not applicable to the food supply here in Australia. So when we analyse someone's diet, we're not using the, the correct information. We actually found that we need to create a method to develop this database. So it wasn't just a case of analysing a collection of foods, because that can actually cost millions of dollars. Um, but with this newly designed method, we started with a literature search, had a look to see what data was available for Australian foods, and from there we actually analysed the key foods that were missing from our Australian database, or from our traditional food comp database. And then we also brought in some other imputations of data from other countries and created some algorithms. So it's a bit of a complex process to create what we have now as an anthocyanin database. So with the anthocyanin database, it means that we can now analyse people's dietary intakes to work out how much people are eating in that particular space. We're not using the American data, and we're not using the European data anymore. We're actually using Australian food data for Australian people. And in the future, we'll also have some values available for other phytochemicals like catechins and some of the flavonol areas as well. So we'll be able to look at a broader span of phytochemicals and have a look at the relationship to people's health, in particular conditions like mental health, diabetes and cholesterol.